Good evening folks, this is Glenn again, and this is the word for today, part one, for November 3rd, 2019. It's 7.43 p.m. at my house here in sunny Ocala, Florida. Let's go right into the word today. This is the word today, part one, November 3rd, 2019, so at 5.37 in the morning, on November 1st, on a Friday, he talks to me and says, in the book of Acts, chapter 6, verses 9 through 15, key verse 12. So let's go right to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 6, verses 9 through 15, key verse 12. Then there arose some from what is called the synagogue of the freedmen, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and those from Sicilia and Asia, disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Then they secretly induced men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes. And they came upon him, seized him, and brought him to the council. They also set up false witnesses who said, This man has not ceased to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs which Moses delivered to us. And all who sat in the council looked steadfastly at him, saw his face as the face of an angel. Once again, the word of the Lord came to me again on 8 o'clock in the morning on November 1st. This is Psalm 101, verse 2. Psalm 101, verse 2, I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. All right, special message, November 1st at 10.39 p.m. The Lord told me to tell you all that he loves you very much and wants you saved. So once again, the Lord told me to tell you all that he loves you very much and wants you saved. Then, on, then at 11.30 p.m. on November 2nd, I speak out this word. I say, you are greater than all of my fears. You are greater than all of my fears. This is found in Psalm 34.4 and also 1 John 4.4. 4. There's a YouTube video that's associated for all seasons. It's the name of the, the group. It's called Bigger Than. It's a lyric video. So let's go right to Psalm 34.4. I'll post a link to that song so you can hear it for yourself. So Psalm 34, 4. Psalm 34 and 4. I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. 1 John 4, 4. 1 John 4 and 4. You are a God, little children, and have overcome them, because He who is in you is greater than He who is in the world. Then I made a statement at November 3rd, uh, this morning at three minutes after midnight, I stated, If Christ is not in you, then what is the point of living? If Christ is not in you, then what is the point of living? And the Lord responds back with Philippians 1 and 21. Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. For to me to live is Christ, to live is Christ, and to die is is gain. Then at five minutes after midnight, the Lord came to me again and said, If Christ be in us, then we have life. If Christ be in us, then we have life. This is found in Romans, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 10. Romans 8 and 10, if, it, if And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Okay, folks, I was reading this prophecy from prophecy.org, prophecy number 73. I'll post a link to it in the description box. So I read this prophecy, and I got a bunch of uh, different books and verses from the Bible I want to share with you this evening. So prophecy.org, I was reading prophecy 73. I'll post a link to it. And I get this to my mind. 200 miles long and high as a horse's bridle. 200 miles long and high as a horse's bridle. This is found in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 20. Revelation 14 and 20, and the winepress was trampled out the side, outside the city, and the blood came out of the winepress up to the horse's bridles for 1,600 furlongs. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 3. Isaiah 63, 3. I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger, and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments. And I have stained all my robes. 
Lamentations chapter 1 verse 15. Lamentations 1 and 15. The Lord has trampled underfoot all my mighty men in my midst. He has called an assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord trampled us. The Lord trampled as in a winepress the virgin daughter of Judah. Ezekiel chapter 32 verse 6. Ezekiel 32 and 6. I will also water the land with the flow of your blood even to the mountains and the riverbeds will be full of you. Joel 3.13 Joel 3 and 13 Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, go down, for the wine press is full, the vats overflow, for the wickedness is great. And finally, the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8, also chapter 19, verse 15. Revelation chapter, 8, ver Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also a Lord was crucified. Revelation chapter 19 verse 15 Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he shall, he should strike the nations, and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Okay folks, that's the word for today, part one, for November 3rd, 2019. Everyone have a great day, have a great evening, and a great blessed week. Take care of yourselves. God loves you, and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Get ready. This is your day of salvation, your decision day. Thank you, and good night. I love you all very much. Bye-bye for now.